family welcome back to Roskuni channel thank you so much guys for always coming back to watch my videos in case it's your very first time here feel free to join the family by subscribing and giving the video a thumbs up today i share with you my daily activities here in my village let's get into it guys today i want to prepare the cassava these are the dried cassava and for us we do eat the cooked cassavas but when you want to make brown ugali that is our stable food we do use the cassava and the other other cereals so today i don't want to prepare the ugali but i just want to prepare this cassava go to the portion meal and the flour that we will get will be using to make the snacks in my village. So I'm going to show you how we do prepare it. Yeah. Remember these cassavas are dry. So for us to prepare, we just heat them so that they become small pieces. Yeah. This tool that I'm using, I hope you've ever seen it in one of my videos or two videos. For us, we do call it kumsa. Yeah, we do use it to cook a certain popular street food here in my village from the maize flour. And again, we do use it to uproot the sweet potatoes. And at the same time, we do use it to heat the, the dried cereals, like the cassava here. We are heating it. Let me know if you have ever prepared cassava. That is dried cassava the way I'm doing. Yeah, so if you want to eat the ugali from the cassava, you prepare it this way. That is brown ugali. Kindly drop a comment if you ever eaten ugali from cassava. We want to start preparing the snacks from this cassava. So very soon guys, stay tuned to this channel. After getting the cassava flour, we will be preparing the snack. I'm done guys, so we are going to air them on the sun. Yeah, for them to dry very well before we take them to the portion meal to get the cassava flour. Let's do it guys. Do you know that cassava flour can also be used to cook the porridge? Kindly drop a comment and let me know if you have such idea. I'm just putting them here so that they can dry, guys. Yeah. I'm just leaving them to stay for around 30 minutes. Then they will be dry, ready for portion meal. Let's leave them to dry as we do another thing, guys. Guys, as we wait for our cassava to dry on the sun, I'm just going to shave the kids at my home. As you can see, the hair is very long and I have some kids around. So I'll be starting with this boy. Yeah, this is my nephew. So I'm going to shave him. For us in the village, we don't use a machine to shave, but we use this. These are the scissors. Yeah. For us, life is very simple. When your hair grows, overgrows, and you want to shave, you just use the scissors. So keep me company. Stay tuned. Let's do it. For those who don't know, can you watch till the very end?
let me know if you still do this in your village i just mean if you still use the scissors to cut your hair for us we still do it and it's the cheapest and at the same time it's friendly on your skin yeah Let me know if you have ever shaved your hair using the scissors in your village. For us, this is just the only means that we can use. And if you also want to use a razor blade, but we don't like razor blades because you can easily cut your head. Yeah, so it's just good to use the scissors because they are very friendly on your head. And I remember those days when my mom was shaving my hair, she could just cut me with the scissors. So <laughs> sometimes if you are asleep, you know that feeling when they are shaving your hair, you feel like sleeping. Then they, they cut you just a little and you will wake up very fast. <laughs> you can even start crying. Let me know if you've ever experienced such. This is just the way we do here in my village. And then guys, for us, there is a taboo. When you are shaving your hair using the scissors at home or in your village, when you are shaving, you are only allowed to shave during the day and not at night i don't know why but it's just according to our culture yeah you are not supposed to shave at night let me know if you have the same thing in your village or it's only us no shaving at night you are only allowed to shave during the day Guys, I have just finished the first person. Yeah, and this is how he's looking. I think he's looking smart. Come close so that they can see. That's how he's looking. And we are done. So, it's another person's turn. Yes. This young girl is the second person. She's my niece. So we are going to shave her. And you know guys, we are moving with the time because when it gets dark, it's a taboo. No shaving. Kindly remember to subscribe to my channel if you are yet to subscribe and don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Support your village girl. I really love you so much guys and I appreciate for the continuous support that you've been showing me. Remember we are on the road to 10k subscribers. So we have just finished shaving. Yeah. Guys, as you can see today, I have shared with you how we do prepare our cassava ready to go to the portion. Yeah, remember, the cassavas that um, I have just prepared, we will be getting the cassava flour so that we can start making the snacks here in my village. Then I've shared with you how we do shave our hair in the village. For us, we don't go to the market to get to where there is a machine we just use scissors to shave our hair can you drop a comment if you have ever done the activities that i've just shared with you today in my village guys yeah see you soon on my next one bye bye